Good morning. Um, so it's Sunday morning. Sat out on a patio last night. Um, I'm doing some experimenting, uh, video experimenting. Uh, that last night in Bangkok, we were in that karaoke bar and the video was very hard to see because it's very dark. So I thought, let me see if I can do something with that. So I bought these tiny one and a half by one and a half inch cube lights off of Amazon. So last time I was playing around with those outside just to see if I can, there's something I could do in the future to just kind of help those lighting situations. Light sensor in the camera and, or kind of get that blinding effect on one side of the, but the light is effective. It just, I don't like that hue up in the corner, but hey, it is what it is. But I also said before I have a diffuser for it, which I didn't have with me earlier. So we turn that on with a diffuser and it looks pretty good. I don't like that shadow, but white right up here in the corner that's what i was talking about so there the hue is gone see it's defl it's cutting the light off over here that's why i got this shadow on my shoulder so that's not good but this is the cat's meow for this but so in reality what probably needs to happen is this light needs to not be right up here where it creates that hue right there but back back here a little bit that's not too bad like that we had some pretty heavy rain last night it's actually sprinkling right now it's supposed to rain this morning but today we got a little list of projects uh, first off, I want to get this trailer hooked up, get around the front of the shop and throw some crap in the back there that we're going to haul out and get rid of. Um, then after that, we got to go over to Guang's house. She's got a cabinet or something over there she bought that she can't get put together. So we're going to go over there and put that together for her. Then we got to go to Lowe's. I, some pit wants to take Guang to Lowe's for something. I don't know what they got planned there, but we're gonna do that. And then when we get back from doing all that, we'll actually take this out and, and get rid of the, the waste. Uh, that waste drop disposal site doesn't open till 1 p.m. So we're kinda kinda get this other stuff done this morning. But the other thing I wanna do this morning is I've never done a time-lapse video. This camera does time-lapse. And I'm pretty sure the uh, GoPro did too, but I just never used it. So we're going to get in the shop, get the camera set up, and try to do a time-lapse video. But I need to do it before it gets too wet out here. So first thing we're going to do is get this trailer hooked up. And I know this trailer is too big for this little Jeep, for the tow capacity. But I've pulled this a hundred times with this Jeep. Um, I don't do much with it. Just some tree branches and just light trash. I think the tow capacity on this Jeep's like 2,300 pounds. I think this trailer weighs, I think it was 1,700 pounds, if I remember right. I weighed it once when I first bought it. So the max capacity on this Jeep is about maxed out with just the trailer. But like I said, I don't, I never put much weight on it. This trailer will be one of the last things to go because I'm gonna need it to do any hauling that we need to do to get shit out of the house. And I do have a plug adapter on here for this big plug just for this trailer. Probably hook those there and get the same effect. Okay, so I'm gonna get the camera in the shop, get it set up, and get started on this time-lapse thing.
So I'm not sure how the time lapse is going to turn out. I'm not even sure if this is the right application for it. I know they do it for long timed exposures, but we'll see. Um, because otherwise you end up making these videos and you just make them fast forward and you buzz around in the picture. But I want to try a time lapse. So we'll see how it looks. Um, I still got a lot more shit to get out of here. You probably can't see, but there's a mess behind the camera. Well, let me show you. But most of this stuff I want to hang up. I went through this. I got to get rid of that rear end differential gasket and shims. But I went through this last weekend and pulled a bunch of crap out of here that was in that tarp that you seen that I threw in there. Um, but most... But most of this stuff I want to just hang on to until I get closer to the end. So if I have anything I need to do, the Jeep or the car or the trailer or anything else around here, um, I'll have the tools to do it. I hated to throw all that wood away, but I kept enough scraps here. I think I can repair most anything I need um, between now and whenever we sell this house. Um, I still got some crap under there that needs to go, but I'll sort through all that later. I don't want to overwhelm the trash people because last time I was hauling out trees they kind of got mad at me because I was hauling too much <laughs> I filled up their big big bin so so anyhow this part's done um, we're going to leave this sit here till this afternoon um, I'm going to get the shops closed up get back up the house um, we'll go over to Guang's get that cabinet or whatever she has we'll get that put together for her then we'll go to Lowe's and we'll come back here and get this get rid of this this afternoon and that will be our projects for the day All right, so we got over to Guang's. We got that dresser put together, uh, which is what it was, a dresser. Got to Lowe's. Um, she wanted me to put together the cost to put in a section of privacy fence in two places in her backyard and in a kind of patio paver section. So we got the price quotes together on those. Um, got back home here, and we can't take the trash well we could but we're not going to because as you can see it's raining so we're not gonna be able to go empty the trailer so we're just gonna have to kind of play it by ear with the weather uh, we might get it unloaded today we might not I don't know um, if I have to I'll just unhook the trailer right where it's at lock it up and empty it next weekend or whenever I'm not in a hurry I just need to get the crap out of the shop yeah we're just gonna go hang out in the house and play around with these uh, videos a little bit the um, time lapse well you saw it so I don't know uh, it's probably easier to do than filming the whole thing and then editing it to a, in a fast forward pace uh, so it's probably easier to just do the time lapse if I know that's what I'm going to do with certain footage but yeah so if I don't get anything else recorded today uh, once again thanks for watching the videos Tom Fitz in the house cooking some chicken wings and I'm on the patio finishing up my video.